Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb series of questions for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. In this video we'll take a look at CCNA exam version 1.0, CCNA 200 to 301, topics related questions. So, today's topic is 1.1D, access points. Let's go to question 1. What is the purpose of channel bonding in wireless networking? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B, to combine multiple wireless frequencies for increased data rates. Channel bonding involves combining multiple adjacent wireless channels to increase the available bandwidth and data rates. This can improve the overall performance of a wireless network by allowing more data to be transmitted simultaneously. However, it's important to note that channel bonding can also increase the potential for interference and may require careful planning to optimize network performance. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question two. What is a rogue access point in a wireless network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C, an unauthorized wireless access point connected to the network. A rogue access point is an unauthorized wireless access point that is connected to the network without the knowledge or approval of the network administrator. Rogue access points can pose significant security risks as they may allow unauthorized users to gain access to the network and potentially compromise its security. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 3. Which wireless frequency band is commonly used by modern Wi-Fi networks? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is 2.4 GHz. The 2.4 GHz frequency band is commonly used for Wi-Fi networks. It provides good coverage and is compatible with a wide range of devices. However, it can be susceptible to interference from other electronic devices operating in the same frequency range. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 4. Which security mechanism allows a wireless network to hide its SSID? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, SSID suppression. SSID suppression is a security mechanism that allows a wireless network to hide its SSID from being broadcasted in beacon frames. While this can make the network less visible to casual users, it does not provide strong security and can be easily bypassed by determined attackers. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 5. What is the purpose of a wireless site survey? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, to assess and plan for optimal wireless coverage and performance. A wireless site survey is conducted to assess the physical environment and plan for optimal wireless coverage and performance. It involves analyzing factors such as signal strength, interference, and the placement of access points to ensure that the wireless network provides adequate coverage and reliable connectivity to users. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 6. Which authentication method provides a higher level of security for wireless networks compared to WPA3 Personal? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. WPA3 Enterprise using 802.1x authentication. WPA3 Enterprise using 802.1x authentication provides a higher level of security for wireless networks compared to WPA3 Personal. WPA3 Enterprise utilizes a more robust authentication process involving a central authentication server, such as RADIUS, and individual credentials for each user or device. Enhancing security by preventing unauthorized access. Okay, let's go to question 7. What is the benefit of using WPA3 Wi-Fi Protected Access 3 over older security protocols like WPA2? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. WPA3 improves security with stronger encryption and protection against brute force attacks. WPA3 is an improved security protocol that offers stronger encryption and protection against various security vulnerabilities present in older protocols like WPA2. 
It enhances the security of wireless networks by making it more difficult for attackers to exploit weaknesses in the encryption and authentication mechanisms, providing better protection against brute force attacks and other threats. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. What is the purpose of SSID, Service Set Identifier, in a wireless network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, to uniquely identify a wireless network for client devices. The SSID, Service Set Identifier, is a unique name that identifies a wireless network. When client devices search for available wireless networks, they use the SSID to identify and connect to the desired network. It's important for security purposes to change the default SSID and use a strong, unique name to prevent unauthorized access. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 9. What is the role of a wireless controller, WLC, in a network with multiple access points? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C, to manage and control multiple access points, providing centralized configuration and management. A wireless controller, WLC, is used to manage and control multiple access points in a wireless network. It provides centralized configuration monitoring, and management of access points, allowing administrators to efficiently deploy, configure, and troubleshoot the entire wireless network from a single point of control. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, let's go to question 10. What is the primary function of a wireless access point, AP, in a network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, to provide wireless connectivity for devices to connect to a wired network. A wireless access point, AP, serves as a bridge between wireless devices and a wired network. Its primary function is to provide wireless connectivity, allowing devices such as laptops, smartphones, and tablets to connect to the network and access resources like the internet or other devices on the wired network. So, here comes supplementary materials. The questions here are found in the email. Please comment with your email address in the comment section, and I will forward them to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my efforts. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Stay tuned.